What's good YouTube? It's your girl Kitty and I'm back with another build video and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the rebounding wing build. This build is a very good small forward build and it is a very good spot up shooting build. Alright, so let's get right into it. Of course, for the position, you're going to pick small forward and you choose whichever hand and jersey number that you would like. And for the pie chart, we're going to go down to this pie chart right here. The red and green pie chart, okay? And for the physical profile, we're going to go with this one right here, the last one. Because when you think about a rebounding wing build in 2K, you, you're, you're usually going to be playing a big man. Okay, and so once you're a small forward playing a big man, you, you're you probably going to be, most, more than likely, you're going to be going up against a lot of centers and power forwards. Okay, so you want to be able to have enough strength to go up against your opponent. Because, you know, the rebound and wing build, if you're playing pro Ram or rec, you're more than likely going to be placed at the power forward position. And a lot of people use the rebound and wing to be the big at park. So that's some things you should keep in mind once you're physically picking your physical profile pie chart okay so for the finishing we're going to max out pretty much everything except for post hook that gives you seven finishing badges for the shooting we're going to max out pretty much everything except for the post fade we're not going to make our post fade too high we're not going to get too crazy with it Alright, for the post fade, we're going to leave that at 56. That gives us 16 shooting badges. And for the playmaking, we're not going to touch. This is not a dribbling build. It's not a playmaking build. For defense, we're going to max out pretty much everything. All right, now that gives us a total of seven finishing, 16 shooting, one playmaking badge, and 21 defensive badges for the rebounding wing build. When trying to make this build, it is very tricky. 2K got really technical. It's like if you change up any certain attribute or wingspan or height, it all can determine the name of your build. And not only the name of your build, but which takeovers you get to choose in the end. So try to keep that stuff in mind. So for the height, this is what the stats look like at default at 6'7". Personally, if I was making a rebound and wing, since you're going to be playing the big man, I would recommend making this build 6'8 or 6'9". At 6'10", you get a pretty big hit, but it's still manageable. But for the sake of this video, we're going to go with 6'9". And for the weight, anything between 220 to 240 I think we're gonna stick it right here at 234 and then for the wingspan remember I was telling you earlier wingspan determines which takeovers you get to choose in the end and sometimes even the name of your build all right so this is at default at default at 68 these are the two takeovers that you get to choose from at 6-7, no, I'm sorry, at 6-9, these are the takeovers you get to choose from. At 6-8 and 6-7 height, you might might be able to choose different takeovers, but at 6-9, that's the default takeovers. If you decrease the wingspan some to give you a boost back to your shooting, you see you get to choose sharp takeover if you wanted to as well. But I do not recommend doing that because this is a defensive build and it hits you on the defensive end. So, all right, so if you increase your wingspan, you see your finishing stats go up and you take a small hit, you do take a few point hit towards your shooting attributes, but you get a big major hit for your defensive and your rebounding attributes. So that's what it looks like at max. But for the sake of this video, 
you ha do also have to consider with the plus four that you get for reaching 99 overall you're going to get those stats back so for the sake of this video i believe we're going to keep it right here between we can go 89 or 90 i said we're going to keep it at 89 and then we're going to choose the lock takeover and there you have it we have created the rebounding wing build okay so that is pretty much it for today's video make sure you leave a like comment down below subscribe to the channel if you are new and don't forget to hit that notifications bell thank you all for watching